Today, we're gonna to be talking about how to update the TT Artisan 27 millimeter F2.8 autofocus lens. Now I'm using the one for the Nikon Z mount, but this process is gonna be the exact same regardless of which mount you have. Another thing to note is this is only gonna work if you have Windows 10. And trust me, I've tried this on Windows 11, Mac OS, as well as Linux and specifically Fedora 38. And I actually thought that I'd be able to do this on Linux, uh, especially using Terminal, uh, and it just didn't work. So I don't know why the company has decided to only make this work with Windows 10, but it's just not recognizable on any of the other platforms. So as long as you know that moving forward, we can proceed with updating. So what you're gonna need is you're obviously gonna need the lens and then the way we update this is built into the lens cover. So there's gonna be a little dot on the back of the lens and you wanna make sure that that is lined up with the red dot that is on the lens itself. And that's gonna allow the contacts that are inside here to touch the contacts that are on the actual lens. Outside of that, you just need a PC with Windows 10 and then you're gonna need a USB Type-C port cable to plug into the lens and then connect it to your PC. So once you have those, then we can hop on over to the PC and we can go ahead and download the actual update file. Once you get to the TT Artisan website, you're gonna to wanna to go to the top right where it says Download Center and select Firmware. And then this is gonna list all the lenses that they offer firmware for. So in my case, um, I am updating the autofocus 27 millimeter F 2.8 Z mount because this is for a Nikon Z camera. So it's gonna be this one right here. So we're gonna click more info. And then they show an instructional video. If you'd like to watch that, the kind of just is going over what we're going over here, but we'll just click download. Now, one important thing to know about this update file is it's gonna download as a RAR file or a .rar and you're gonna need a special piece of software to be able to extract the contents of the file. Again, I have no idea why they chose to do that over using like a zip file, but if we head over to winrar.com, you'll be able to download a trial version of their software and that's gonna be able to extract the contents of the file. We have the firmware here on our desktop. Go ahead and double click it. Close out the add and then we're just gonna click extract to it's gonna create a folder. You can put it wherever you want. I'm just gonna let it unzip right here on my desktop. And then this is gonna show us the firmware files. So we need this bin file, that's what we're looking for. And so at this time, you can take your USB-C cable and you can plug this into your lens cap and make sure it's connected to the lens. From there, we're going to take the bin file and we just want to drag it over to the lens. So once you connect your lens to your computer, it will um, populate as a, like a disk drive under my computer. And then you're just gonna take that bin file and you're gonna drag it over to the lens. And once it's copied, you're done. It's literally as easy as that. Now for me, it took much longer because I was trying to do it on a bunch of systems that this did not support, but that's it. So the process on this one is fairly easy as you can see. You're just copying pasting a file or drag and dropping it over to the lens. But if for whatever reason you had any issues doing this, hit me up down in the comments and let me know and I will try and help you guys work through that the best that I can. But without further ado, that's it for this one. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.